Now let's pick up from where we left off and I'm going back to my walkthrough here and I'm going to edit the walkthrough to get access to these tools and I want to go back to the very beginning so look I'm going as I click on the keyframes you'll notice that the frames are now descending are coming down and down and down okay and I'm going right back to the start here and there it is now I'm going to hit play Ah, that's interesting. That's the one I, I dropped uh, a bit too low. It wasn't the finish. It, uh, it looks like it was the start. However, look, um, let's bring that up there. Now, uh, no, I don't. I want to play this now. Uh, I'll let this run for a while. Um, the first time it runs, it can be a little bit slow. Uh, but you're getting the idea here straight away. So you're getting vertical movement as well as horizontal movement. And the fact that I adjusted uh, the crop boxes at the keyframes uh, means that I'm getting uh, all of the building in for most of the of the frames here. So this will probably take. Uh, most of this video here now to um, uh, to run through and what you'll do is you'll you'll run through uh, a couple of tests of these here um, just to see how it's looking and you can make adjustments um, I know from my own experience um, making adjustments uh, particularly you notice there uh, in the uh, north uh, the south elevation where I tried to adjust uh, one node and I couldn't find out which node it was so you, you need to be kind of careful as to which node that you're grabbing uh, in order to change that vertical position as well and that can be a little bit tricky um, you know once you get the uh, the basic uh, techniques of this um, you will start to fly along and what will excuse the pun and um, what will happen is that you know you can actually get adventurous and you can go into the building you can go up the stairs um, you can fly in and out of the building you know there's lots of various different things that you can do um, now I'm missing kind of uh, the bottom parts of the building there so I might that's one of the things that I might adjust um, Another factor here, obviously, is the power of your computer. So the more powerful computers, uh, this will go an awful lot faster. Okay, and there's, I have a couple of floating trees there, I see. Very good. Um, I don't mind the trees, if you like, being um, in the way here, because, again, this is just a, it's a presentation video as such. The other things that we can do to... Um, improve this and I am going to do it uh, on this particular walkthrough is uh, is to introduce shadows and when you introduce shadows now uh, things do most definitely lift up a lot um, with this you can also render um, your walkthroughs now you'd want a really powerful uh, PC to do that because what you're doing is you're doing 300 renders and uh, if you've been following along with your interior and exterior renders, you know you will know the power of your own uh, laptop or PC and how long that might take uh, to do that. And again, I'm losing some of the bottom of the building there. And the reason that that has happened is because I adjusted the vertical position of the keyframe. And what I wanted to do here now was to, as I come around the corner to the front, was to dive down. And into the building there so you get the idea that's uh, that's that's uh, how we create that and I'll just let this run through to the end um, you can see the furniture and things like that up at that uh, fourth floor I think it is and we'll zoom down in and we're up to 279 10 20 more to go And I'm getting closer and closer and closer into the building there. Okay, um, I'll do part three now.